Hello everyone, today I'm sharing a new case of how to automatically hide rows or columns based on cell values. Um, so I have posted one of the uh, video on how to automatically hide rows based on cell value if they're formula driven and I have also have uh, videos on when they're not formula driven or just think of criteria. Um, but uh, when I was working with my client, um, I actually come up with a new problem, which is um, it doesn't, the code that I shared in that video, it doesn't really work when um, this interface or this spreadsheet is locked. So let me show you what I meant. So in this spreadsheet, this is um, working fine when you choose the drop downs um when you choose multiple drop downs they can just work as good right but then let's say you know what like i this is something that i'm sharing with my clients and i don't want them to touch on the formulas or on the data i don't want them to do whatever change i just want them to be able to use it so in that case the most common solution is that you would just go protect your spreadsheet right so let's say we just protect it um, with a password um, and then it's now should be good so because now then you see like people cannot change what you have um, in the spreadsheet so that's good but then the problem here is that when you try to do the uh, selection it doesn't work um, the cell that uh, will chart your change and change is on a product sheet a protected sheet so um, basically it doesn't work uh, so how do we make it work this is what I'm sharing today Okay, so let's come back to uh, the same spreadsheet, um, and uh, let me show you how to do um, how to do it. So basically, well, this is actually what I already done. So now you can see that it's first. Um, there are two things that I did here. So first is that the sheet is protected. So now you see when uh, I'm trying to click, I'm trying to change. Uh, it doesn't allow me. Uh, a second thing that I did was that I'm hiding all the formulas. So for example, if you remember a my previous spreadsheet like you can tell that uh, we have formulas here and it does show on the formula bar uh, but then for whatever reason usually let's say when I present to my client I don't want them to see the formulas uh, because I don't want to bring more problems that they want to ask um, and I just don't want to show it so now you can see it's not uh, showing it's hidden so formula is hidden uh, but they can basically still do the selections so yeah let's say they want to choose Canada for Canada there's only one seller structure in this case for Indian they get to choose whether they want Mumbai or non Mumbai location um, and it does work as uh, desired okay so let me show you how to do this uh, so this is the unlocked spreadsheet so this is um, basically if you look at the code that we have here um, this is actually yeah this is actually uh, the original code that we have so the first thing that we need to do here is to um, lock and protect our formulas uh, so that it's hidden so to do that the first thing you do is to go to the top left select everything um, and then go right click format cells and then you go to protection so sometimes um, this shows as locked um, tick sometimes it shows something like partial um, or it's like blank so basically what you want to do is to select hidden so that all your formulas will be hidden and then select locked so that's to say that all the cells on the spreadsheet will be locked and then go okay so now everything should be locked um, it, it's showing as um, formula but then once we protect the sheet um, the formula will be hidden the next thing to do is that for the things that you want to make change on the spreadsheet for, for example it's those two cells it's exactly those two highlighted cells we do want to make change to them because they are drop downs and then we want to be able to select those drop downs so in that case just select those two cells go right click again format cells you see that they're shown as locked on lock um, on, on ticket so that is though only those two cells are not locked 
Okay, so now that part is set, um, and once we protect them, you will see that um, they are hidden. So now let's go back to our spread, um, our micro code. Um, if you are not quite familiar with how we get to the core part of it, I would uh, definitely recommend you to go back to this video, uh, which explains in detail of um, why, like what those lines of codes mean. But what I want to emphasize today is actually the part that's currently in comment. So um, now, so basically, the things that we need to add uh, in this code is are those two lines. Um, this line is just my comment. It's just showing that the sheet is now protected. But those two lines are the code um, that's basically saying that. Uh, let's go back to the spreadsheet. So. Um, so those two lines of code is saying that, well, you know what? Every time you change those um, two selections, um, let me make it code. Uh, first, you unprotect your spreadsheet um, with the password, which is whatever, like one, two, three, four, five. Um, and, then, and then you run your code. Um, and then after you finish running your code, uh, then you go back to protect it and then the password is let's say one two, one two three four five and then you can still do the same thing um, with whatever um, pass password that you want to uh, you want to input there so now let's say we select um, our country and then you can see that the range automatically change and then let's try also select the location and then yeah and then you can see that the location also changes perfectly and then what one thing that you want to notice is that you can tell the formula are hidden um, so that the users wouldn't see that and then now let's try to change um, and you can tell that our spreadsheet is uh, is protected and then if you want to unprotect it, you have to go here unprotect your sheet um, but uh, right now with the code that we have um, it is actually just working perfectly for um, uh, for a protected spreadsheet um, and don't um, and as always I will post um, I will paste the code in the description so you don't have to uh, you can just copy and paste from the description um, and uh, that is everything that I want to share today um, hope that you find it helpful Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.